So we are going to start with the fresh project. Right now I have installed some of the packages which we are going to need which is React Native Skia and D3. And now let's create a new file with the name wave.js. Inside this file I will create a new component named wave which we are going to use to define the wave animation in the React Native Skia. So let's import wave. And inside wave, let's import the canvas. After importing canvas, I will define the size of the canvas. So size is equal to 256. And now let's define the style. Width is equal to size. Height is equal to size. And inside the canvas, I will add a new circle. For the R, we will create the outer circle radius. And it will be R minus padding by 2. And padding is going to be size by 25. And if we do this, and I will reload this. Now we will see a circle with this radius and why I named outer circle radius because there will be two circles one will be the outer and second will be the inner so for the outer circle we will just define the style as a stroke so we can see it as a border width or border of the inner circle so let's define that style is equal to stroke stroke width is going to be padding and color will be so if we do this then we will see our outer circle is ready with border width of 10 because we have de defined or we have divided the size by 25 so when the size increases the border width will increase because we have added this formula and now let's create the inner circle so for creating inner circle i will create a rounded rectangle so it will be r rect inside this rect padding padding and let's define the inner circle size inner circle size it is going to be size minus padding into 2 so inner circle size and now R and R we are going to use this soon so first create a group and inside this group let's create a rect and I will show you how we are going to clip it with the group so x is equal to 0 y again 0 width size height size if we just do this even we remove the group then you will see we will have a rectangle with black color and it is overriding the circle and when we add the group and we add the clip to it with rounded rectangle then you will see this will be inside our circle and our circle is fully complete now now we just need to animate the waves inside this circle and we are good to go with this wave progress so now let's create the progress and the animated path for this let's define some constants so frequency frequency is going to be 4 now amplitude it is going to be 15 and I will also define the vertical offset vertical offset is basically at what point we are animating the wave 
like let's say if it is 50% then we will animate it here if it is 100% it will be here and if it is 20 it is will be here so vertical offset for now we will use it as 100 also make sure this is offset this is not the percentage so we will add the formula to calculate the vertical offset from the percentage right now we are just defining it 100 so 256 minus 100 it will be somewhere around here and now let's create a function called create animated path it will get an argument name face so this is going to define the waves inside this path so const d3 points I will create an array from length is equal to size so we are creating an array or d3 points of array of d3 points so this will define different position of the line inside this 0 to 256 and then map i now first create the angle at what point we want at this position or this position so const angle is equal to i by size into math dot pi into frequency plus face and now we will return the array at what index we want at what position we will be this point at zero index let's say the point will be here at 20 index this will be here so this can create a wave in the path so i now math dot sign angle into amplitude by 2 plus vertical offset dot current so now our angle and d3 points are ready and now let's create a curve line from this so first create a line generator we will import the line from d3 also we will import the curve basis to curve the line and now this will be the wave path and now we will return the path in the svg string so first it will be wave path then i will also differentiate and will show you how if we remove the wave path and add the bottom part later on so l size size 0 so i remove if i remove this part then you will see we will only have the wave and if i remove this part then you will see only we have the rectangle i will show you later on so this function is ready now we will animate the path so const animated path we will use use computed value so that every millisecond or every second we can animate the path so we will create clock first And now we will pass cloak as a dependency and now let's define it current is equal to cloak dot current divided by 200 and modulus is equal to 200 and now this is this will be the start point of the SVG so start is equal to skia dot path make from svg string and we will create this from create animated path and now face will be current and endpoint will be skia dot path make from svg string create animated path and current into math dot pi so now we have start and end point for the path and we will interpolate it start dot 
interpolate and 0 0.5 so now we have the animated path ready and we can remove this rectangle and we can use the path from the react native skia and if we name it color and add the color inside it then you will see we have this wave animating inside this and we can change its duration or its speed based on this so if i add it 300 then it will be slow if i make it 500 again it will be so slow so let's make it to 250 just to add the similar speed so now we will animate this position based on the progress and we will use it as a component instead of just defining the constant value so size we will pass it from the props and we will also pass the progress so let's say progress is 30 default and we will use use effect whenever the progress changes so progress or size changes and now vertical offset dot current we will calculate it based on the progress so 1 minus progress by 100 into inner circle size and we will remove this so now this component is ready we can just pass any wave any size into this and this will behave exactly the same so if i pass size 100 then it will be like this if i pass it 200 then it will be like this also just to make sure this waves look smooth so let's make the amplitude to 10 now the wave size will be smaller even if we do the 100 it will look clean and progress is equal to 20 so at 20% it will be like this.